SOLIDWORKS Sketch is a constraint-based system, so understanding constraints in SOLIDWORKS, especially the geometric constraints, is very essential in using SOLIDWORKS Sketch. So let's create any random triangle in any random orientation. As soon as I close this three lines, it forms a closed region and that region is grayed like this that's because of this shaded sketch contours on if you turn it off it doesn't show but sometimes it's helpful to see that I want to impose some constraints to it so first of all we don't want this just randomly oriented triangle so I want to add a horizontal constraint on this line there are a couple of ways doing it one is on the command manager there is a display delete relations command but if you click on the little triangle underneath it there's another command add relation if you click on it there's a selection box so you want to select the entity you want to impose a geometry constraint right now a line is selected here we want to apply horizontal constraint and then that horizontal constraint is added to this box as an existing relation and the line now become horizontal as you can see here there's a horizontal constraint is applied you can see that as I try to drag it it doesn't get tilted it's always kept horizontal let's move this a little bit up so that you can see the menu so if you want to delete this constraint there are a couple of ways to do right click on it and from the menu select delete and that one is gone another way of even simpler way is just select the entity you want to add constraint to and on the left hand side in the properties the applicable constraints are listed in here so you can either add horizontal or vertical or fix never is fix so I can use horizontal and now that constraint is back again. Another way of deleting this is just selecting small icon and hit the delete key on the keyboard and that is gone. A very quick way is that when, as soon as you select the entity there's a little pop-up window and you can select it. But these are same as the one on the left hand side it's just a convenience it's near to the mouse button so it's quickly selected but you can select this make horizontal from there all right so we have this triangle but we want this triangle to be equilateral triangle so that means two side lines should have equal length okay so we want to add relations not just on one entity we want to add relations between two entities okay so in that case uh, again two methods as we did you can do add relation and you can select these two lines all applicable relations are listed in here you just need to go through and select it so in this case we want them to be equal so select equal now as you see there are equal constraints are added if you try to change the triangle it keeps the uh, length to be equal okay so this is the equilateral triangle another way you can do I'm gonna delete that constraint now it back to a random triangle the preferred way of adding constraint is let's say I want to add constraint on these two lines so you need to select them together uh, because we don't have a selection box we only can select one at a time okay so if I select it and if I select another one the first one deselected only one of them selected if you want to select multiple entities together the Windows convention is you have to press control key while you're selecting it selecting so I select this while I press in the control key and also select that one as well and then both of them are selected as you can see here both lines are listed on the, the selected entities and now we have a list of relations 
you can apply again I apply equal now it back to equal constraint alright so right now it is an equilateral triangle but it can flow around anywhere so we want to anchor this whole sketch to this origin sketch origin so I'm gonna move whole sketch near to the origin select the two points together applicable relations there's a coincident so you can add that that corner is anchored so its position is specified only its size is not yet specified okay so we'll talk about this how specifying the size in the next video where we add dimensions another way because this is equilateral triangle you probably want this origin to be in the middle of this triangle so I'm gonna move it closer to that position and I want this origin to be in the middle so you need to select those two together while pressing the control key select the origin select this line and look through this list and there's a one midpoint so if you click on that you have this midpoint constraint and this line is kept symmetric about this origin point point. 